angels welcome back to my channel it's your girl ninami moyo and i'm back at it again giving you guys all the latest content on all things hair beauty lifestyle and of course the vlogs honey my life your entertainment if you're new to my channel a huge welcome to you thank you so much for joining me today please don't leave here without hitting that subscribe button and of course turning on the notification bell so that you're the first person to receive a notification when i upload a new video and of course to my lovies and my lovers my day ones and my supporters thank you so much for tuning in all you guys have to do is give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think of this video now as you guys can see by today's title i'm going to be doing a glam look by Malkia Cosmetics. So Malkia Cosmetics is a makeup brand that is based online on Instagram and they reached out to me and sent me a box of goodies. Um, so this is the box that they sent me, super cute. I'm super excited to unbox this. It is really cute. The products inside are amazing. So, well, I haven't tried them out. They're just amazing based on the packaging. So we're gonna try it out and I'm gonna give you guys a review on what I think of their products. And I will leave a link down below for you guys to go and check out their Instagram for you guys to go ahead and shop their products as well. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to create this glam look. So within this package, they sent me um, two lip kits. So these are two lip kits by their brand. Oops, not me showing you guys the back instead of the front chair. So they sent me these two lip kits. I don't know if you guys can even see. I shouldn't have focused that. Yes, yeah, so they sent me these two lip kits. And this is what they look like on with the box. And inside we have two different colors of these lip kits. So this one is the red one, which goes by the name of Dynasty. So it is called Dynasty. This is what it looks like. So it comes with the lip liner as well as the lipstick. And I do believe they are matte lipsticks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they probably are. I think they are. We'll see when we use them. So that's the first color that they sent me. And then the second color that they sent me is this maroonish color, which goes by the name Duchess. Um, so this is basically what it looks like. It also comes with the lip liner as well as the actual lipstick. So I'm super excited to try these out. I love these colors. I love, 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 love them. I don't even know if this is like a red though. I feel like Dynasty is a bit of like a, a pinkish reddish um, lip color because it's got a bit of a pinkish undertone. I think you guys can see that now, but it's also got a bit of the reddish undertone. So it's a bit of a, a mix. It could be red, but it's also like it's leaning towards a pinkish. So I don't know, it just depends on you, um, on obviously what it is that you pair it up with. I feel like if you put it together with a reddish look, then maybe it'll look more red. And then if you pair it up with a pinkish look, then it'll look more pink. But we'll see, obviously, um, I will swatch them in a moment. I'm just showing you guys what else they sent me. So they sent me a packet of brushes. So these are the brushes that they sent me. Um, I think there are about 10 brushes in here, if I counted correctly. Yeah, these are 10 brushes. So they sent me 10 brushes, a variety of different types of brushes. So they've got a bit of like, um, this is basically what they look like. It's got this marble finish over here on the handle of the brush. And then the ferrule is a um, rose gold ferrule. And then, of course, the bristles of the actual brush um, are brown over here. And then it's got a white tip at the top. And then underneath, at the bottom of the brush, if you guys can see, it is a flat bottom. So you can place the brush on top of a flat surface and it can stand straight, which I think, in my opinion, is a very good type of design when it comes to a brush because... Um, Sometimes you place your brushes and it's got product on and then you place it like on a white table or something and you place it laying down and then now it messes up the table or whatever the situation may be. But if it's got a flat bottom, then you can just place it like so and then obviously it won't really make a mess or anything. Only issue is that you may knock it over and then it obviously fall. They've also got their package, um, their branding on here. So they've just got their Malkia Cosmetics branding over here on their brushes as well. So yeah. And then they also sent me an eyeshadow palette. So I haven't unboxed these things properly, properly. Like I took them out, but I put them back exactly how I found them. Because I think when I, I like to unbox my things straight from the package as it comes. So... 
yeah but then they sent me their eyeshadow palette so it's basically shaped in a triangle it's a beautiful palette um based on the packaging it looks amazing i love the shape and i love the whole marble finish that they have um in terms of their design and then they obviously have their branding on there and yeah this one is called the fairy tale palette so it's a fairy tale palette and you'll see based on the colors how it definitely is um embodying fairy tale so it has when you open it it has a mirror on the inside so you guys can obviously see the triangle shaped mirror and obviously through the mirror you can see my camera so yeah and then they've got this that covers the the, the eyeshadows so these are the eyeshadows that they give you there's a lot of different eyeshadows that are here very beautiful colors um, I'm obsessed because I'm excited to create these looks. I've been I've been needing an eyeshadow palette that comes with yellows So now I've got yellows and a mustard and then we've also got the orange tones We've got glitters here at the top. We've also got some neutral tones over here Then we've also got some pinks over here and some you know um, Peachish colors over here. This peachish color has a bit of a shimmery um, finish so it's got a bit of like shimmer in it and then these ones are mostly glitter so this is um, these two actually this pink one and this peachish one are both shimmery colors so it has a bit of a shimmery tone and then yeah the rest of them are really just matte so matte colors but very beautiful matte colors you can see they're very br vibrant and very you know I'm, hope, I'm hoping they're pigmented. I think they are. We'll see when we try them out. But very, very beautiful colors. This is the kind of palette that I would suggest people should get because then you don't have to invest in too many palettes. Um, this palette is very versatile. So you could use this for both your eyeshadow and then you can also use it to apply your blush. So you could use some of the lighter pinks. Um, perhaps like this one over here would be a great blush color you can also use some of these pinks over here for your blush obviously not this one because this one's got shimmer but i think these two over here would be working as a great blush color and then yeah then you can also use this one for your eyeshadow there's a lot of different things that you can use this palette for so it's a very versatile palette and i absolutely love the colors and they look very vibrant so i'm excited to try them out so i'm just gonna swatch um at least maybe two or three of their colors from the palette to see the to see the um the pigment so i think i want to swatch the purple because i am going to use purple for this look so i'm just going to swatch it over here so that's very pigmented so this is basically what it looks like so it is pretty pigmented based on what you guys can see it's just that I can't twist my arm that far but this is and it's also just on my finger so you guys can already see how pigmented that is purple is actually very pigmented what other color I think I want to swatch the yellow and see because sometimes a yellow can be you know sometimes your yellows are pretty I'll swatch it that way so based on my first swatch it's not that pigmented it takes a bit of I think you probably need to apply it a couple of times for you to just get the color to get the pigment but that's basically what it looks like so not too bad not too bad at all um let's try out the orange so i'm trying out so i basically swatched this color i swatched this one and now i'm swatching this one so i'm just trying out this orange just swatching the other way just to see so this is what it looks like so it's also pretty light i think it's also something that you probably need to keep applying to get that color that you would like um i don't know if i want to swatch the glitters let me try and swatch the glitters okay so the glitter is pretty like you can see that this one is definitely very very pigmented so that's the thing with glitters i think when you pick it up with your finger for it to leave your finger it's going to be a bit of a you know tussle but it is still on my finger so i think when you pick it up with the brush it probably has a little bit more pigment and you can leave it on on your eye look and it'll probably stay also this glitter is the kind of glitter that you need to have like a crease or something like a concealer or a cream to help the glitter stay you know um but yeah this is basically the colors so you guys have already seen based on the swatching what it looks like 
Um, they also sent me a little card. This card here basically is a card, um, I think after you've made your purchase, this is what they usually send you. So it says, hey beautiful, thank you for purchasing from Malkia Cosmetics. We hope you enjoy using our products just as much as we enjoyed making them for you. Welcome to the family, hope, you, hope to hear from you soon. And then they've got their Instagram profile, their Facebook and their Twitter. But yeah, that's basically, and their website as well. This packaging for me was really cute because I loved how it came with like these little pinkish, um, you know, those little, I don't know what you call them. I'm about, I'm about to, I'm like two minutes away from calling them confetti. But the little decoration stuff that you put inside, which I absolutely love because I was like, it's cute because it's pink and it makes me want to keep the box. It makes me want to keep the products in the box. It's everything. So now let me swatch the lipsticks so i'm going to swatch the lipsticks at the back of my hand um just to see so the first one i'm swatching is this maroon one this one is beautiful it's it's a very it's definitely what is it called duchess is it duchess yeah it's just duchess so it's a very duchess color like very royal because of how deep the color is so i love 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 okay so this is basically what it looks like this is very beautiful actually i love how it looks even against my skin it feels it feels amazing even when I put it on and it looks like a beautiful color. Can't wait to try this one out. I really genuinely can't wait. And then the other one, I'm gonna swatch the pencil just to see how, um, how much. So yeah, the color, the pencil glides on the skin very well which is a good thing and that's basically how the color is so it's also not too far off from the actual lipstick so i actually i love that absolutely love that and then what's the next one the next one is this dynasty color which is the pinkish reddish color so based on obviously the outside appearance it does look pinkish but also looks red i definitely thought it was red when i first saw it so if it is red, it's probably a very light, like a brightish red. But obviously against my skin now, I can see it's a bit of pink and a bit of, bit of red. It's like a bright red, but at a very like hot pink. Is it even a hot pink? Yeah, it's almost like a hot pink, but that's what it basically looks like. I don't know why I'm hurting myself. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like, which is very nice. I also really like this one. And then the pencil, just it glides so well on the skin. So yeah, that's what the pencil looks like. So the pencil is also giving red. The pencil is actually giving more red than the actual lipstick. And based on the way they're drying, it's showing me that they are matte. So. So yeah, but that's basically what it is that they sent me. So I'm excited to create this look. I am going to speed it up though, because I feel like we've been talking about these products in the beginning of the intro of the video for quite some time. So I'm not going to be talking too much during the course of the video while I'm doing my makeup. I'm really just going to speed through the look um, because I think at this point we're over makeup tutorials and now we're really just seeing how the product works. Um, I'm not necessarily teaching you guys how to do makeup. I think when we do those videos, it's a separate thing. So I'm going to sort of lapse the video, time lapse the video. And then um, at some point, if I feel like I need to make a comment about the actual product, I will do so, obviously. And yeah, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited to create this look. I'm excited, excited, excited. They didn't send me eyelashes, so I'm using eyelashes from a different brand. I will not disclose that brand because obviously this is not about them. Um... And then yeah so <laughs> if you guys are interested to see how um this whole thing pans out and how this look all comes together please keep on watching until the end of this video please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below what you guys think during the course of the video i would love to engage with you guys and hear from you guys what you guys think let's get into it so I am going to do my eyebrows with powder today so that I can see how it works um, using this, um, this eyebrow brush. So I am going to use some powder, but I don't want to make my eyebrows too dark today. So we're just going to see how it works and just yeah.
so i just had to quickly change my lighting i had to make it brighter because there was now a shift in lighting but it's not so bad because everything still looks fine so right now i've just done my eyebrows i think they look fine i just need to blend the concealer so i think i want to use a, one of these fluffy brushes to blend that So I'm going to start, my first transition color that I want to use is the yellow. So I want to start off with my yellow. So I'm going to use this one over here. Um, I just hate that it's such harsh lighting now because of my brightness. But yeah, I'm going to use this yellow over here. Oh, there's a mirror, tongue gold. Because I don't like using that other mirror because it kind of like gives me too many things to carry. So I'm just going to pick up the product this is what the product looks like so it is pretty pigmented when you grab a lot of product and then just place it so i'm placing it just at the top top area so i'm going to move forward so that you guys can see what it is that i'm doing So I'm going to use the same brush and then I'm going to go in with this orangey color over here. So I want to go in with the bright one, but I also want to go in with a bit of this lighter one. So there's a difference in the colors, if you guys can see. This one is a bit more bright compared to this one. So that's basically how it fades so you can see that it's fading from orange into yellow i'm just looking into the monitor so i can see how it looks for you guys so, so now i'm gonna pack in the purple so i'm gonna use a slightly bigger fluffy brush i'm gonna attempt to use this one just to apply the product or maybe i should use a different one to apply the product and then blend with this one um just to see how it blends and make sure that it's not too because I'm not trying to like spend 300 hours doing this. So I want to use this one. Guys, I need to wash my brushes. This is so ghetto. I'm getting into this purple. This purple is very, very pigmented based on what you guys saw when I um, swatched it. So yeah, you can already see it on the brush. I didn't even have to dabble too much, guys. And this is a white brush, so it's going to definitely like up a lot so i'm just applying it here at the ends of the eye um this is going to be my blend color So I'm actually packing on yellow onto my crease. So I'm going to use this other flat dome brush. I'm going to use the bright yellow still to pack the product on my crease. So I'm using this bright yellow instead of the mustardy one. And I'm just going to use the flat brush that they gave me just to apply that. But before I do that, I have to. Where is that brush now? Okay. Obviously, because my creases are not powdered or anything, they're creasing. So I don't want that. So at about this part, I want to add a bit of orange just as another transition to transition from yellow into orange and then into the purple. So I'll do that once I've done the other eye.
look at that blend oh my gosh like flipping shocking i am talented <laughs> ah, oh gosh wait to feel yourself okay so now i'm gonna go in with the purple and then just blend that out and then we'll be done with the eyes my talent is scary okay like do you know how talented i am guys my talent is scary my level of talent is scary correct please come correct please come correct like ugh, I'm not even playing y'all better come correct honey there's nobody else who does what they do the way I do it like I I kill I kill at what I do so I'm just gonna apply a bit of the purple at the top as a blend I don't know about you, but I'm beautiful. I look good. I look amazing. Now I'm gonna put on my eyeliner. And then I don't know, I don't think I will do a wing because I feel like it might take away from the look. So I'm just gonna do a normal wing liner. Not a normal wing liner, a normal eyeliner. And then yeah. This looks good guys. Like this is something I would definitely rock. I don't know where though, but I would rock this. Like I would, I'm going shame. I don't know if I want to put on my eyelashes now. I'm still trying to think about it. I'm also trying to think about which lip I'm gonna go for. Like, should I go for the darker one or the lighter one? Like, I'm really just in a predicament right now. Like, this one or this one? No! <gasps> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. No! <gasps> I genuinely don't know. Jonga, I genuinely don't know. I wish you guys could help me out, but you guys only get to comment when I'm done with the look and I've already chosen a color. You guys should comment what you would suggest, what you guys think I'll choose, which which look you guys think I'll go for. So I'm gonna choose, I'm wearing these eyelashes. These are natural eyelashes. Um, so it's just like one pair. Okay, I can close this palette now. Because so yeah, they're natural eyelashes. <gasps> I love this look, guys. I'm obsessed. I cannot believe how gorgeous I look. And I'm rocking up with my short hair. Like, I'm that girl. <laughs> I am that girl. And I don't think a lot of girls can pull this off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Now I just need to figure out. Oh, it comes with glue. Okay, so these are the eyelashes. This is what they look like. Cute, cute. They're not too dramatic. They're just like, you know, nice eyelashes. So they're long. They're actually the clear strap lashes. So the strap is clear, which is nice. I want to try and get into those because I think they're a little bit easier to work with. Well, from what I've experienced, putting them on other clients, putting them on myself, I'm not too sure. We're going to be trying it out for the first time. 
so they're not too bad. They're very nice. That looks good. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. That looks really nice. I was very skeptical because also I'm not really used to the style of the lash because it's a very like a very natural lash if I can say. These are very nice lashes. They're very, very beautiful. They're also very light, like very, very light. Nice and long, they're not too short. Um, yeah, I like them. I really like them. I think it kind of transformed my look. I'm used to like the very, well, not too dramatic, but dramatic now. I need to put on some mascara so I can join the lashes just a little bit. Just I, I hate the lifespan of uh, mascaras. I'm just like it irritates me how they are, you know, good for two seconds and then the next minute they're drying already. So annoying. Okay guys, so I've applied the highlight in these areas, so I'm gonna go in, I feel like I'm gonna go in with this brush, but I also wanna go in with this one because it's got an angle, so it's probably easier to blend. So I think I'll dabble between these two, um, these two brushes to just blend, um, so it'll depend on which area I'm blending. If I feel like I need to use this one, then I'll use this one. If I need to use the angled one, then I'll use the angled one. So for now, I'm going to start with the angled one and just basically tap. I usually like to blend in a tapping motion. Now I'm going in with powder, so I did grab this brush and I've just like dabbled a bit into my powder. So just to set these areas. Okay, so I think I want to use this brush for blush and I did say that I'm going to use something from this palette So I want to go in with this color over here. It's a bit of a peachy color as well Okay, so now we're gonna get into the blush. So I'm just gonna dabble into this pink. This is what it basically looks like I think I need a bit more. This is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit. Oh, that is very pigmented chill that is very pigmented but it is a beautiful blush color can you guys see that it is a beautiful blush color that's why i say this palette is very versatile like you can easily 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 use 
this as a blush color i love 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 it actually i love this color it's a beautiful blush tone and because it's a beautiful blush tone if you're going for like a natural neutral look then you can definitely use this on your eye as well as an eye color this brush also works really well it's like perfectly blending as my blush brush so i'm loving it so far i have only really good reviews of this pro these products okay i'm gonna use the same blush brush and i'm gonna dabble into my bronzer it's not really a bronzer it's actually more of like a shimmery color so it could be it's like a shimmery blush you know what i mean so i'm just picking up a little bit of it just to act as my highlight i'm just gonna place it in my highlight area see it's it's like you see it very lightly it's very faint if i don't put a lot on then you won't really see it and i don't think i aim on putting too much let me see how much i put on yeah i can see it i can definitely see it mm. and it's so pretty i don't think i knew i had such it's such a pretty color oh my gosh i love this the moment we've all been waiting for figuring out which lip we're going for guys <laughs> which lip are we going for I'm genuinely so confused. I'm like so conflicted. So I think based on the lip liner, I think this is probably more, it's leaning more towards a red, but you can see it's got a bit of pink. So I'm sure you guys can already see now. I think now you can really see the pink. And then this one is very deep. It's a very deep maroon color. So I'm just like... I feel like I want to go with this one simply because it goes really well with the purple. This pinkish color I feel like would go perfectly with like a very neutral toned look, like very nice and chilled vibes, calm makeup, nothing too hectic. This one definitely is giving, it's like I'm here, notice me, you know what I mean? It's definitely Duchess vibes, like royalty, all of that. This one is more like Dynasty very neutral if if you're cutting a crease it's more like you've got your brown tones and then your rose gold crease or like a golden crease like you know very nice and fairy tale like you know what i mean of which i think with this lip color you'd probably go more of like this brownish tone as your outer color and then maybe you have this as your transitions um, and then maybe like a gold, like a rose gold. Like what kind of rose gold? Where is my rose gold palette? Oh yeah, here. Yeah. Sort of like these golds, you know what I mean? Like golds like this one, like, ugh, this is so harsh. Sort of like this rose gold or like this gold, you know what I mean? So that's the only, that's, I think that's the point where I would use that lip color. For this look, I definitely want to go with this um, Duchess color. So we're definitely going to go with that. This color, oh my word. Can you guys see like what just happened? So it is matte, just like I said. I literally am feeling myself. <laughs> I am, it's such a deep plum look. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. goodness i need to spray my perfume <laughs> i need to spray my perfume shell so i can feel and and like really just feel like i look oh oh wow oh 
giving. My goodness. <gasps> I look good. I look so good. I look. Wow. 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 Oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done feeling myself. Okay, guys, so we have reached the end of this video. Um, you guys, <laughs> I look good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Everything is just communicating. Like the hair is communicating, skin is giving, lips are giving, the eye look is giving. Like the eye look is giving, the blush is giving, highlight is giving everything is giving i'm so happy i'm obsessed i love this look i'm obsessed with this look i love this look i'm gonna take photos in this look for everybody to see i need to go somewhere i just wish it wasn't a thursday night if it was a, if it wasn't a thursday night it was like a friday night i was definitely gonna go out i was gonna be i was gonna be somewhere to for people to see my face like no one is just gonna like not see this like but everyone's gonna see this on Instagram, shame. You're not even gonna get enough. And it's giving, even with the hair, like everything is just giving, giving, giving. And I'm so happy everything is giving. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think. And yeah. Mm. So in terms of their products, Malkia Cosmetics has amazing products. Their um, eyeshadow palette is very pigmented, just like I showed you guys. You guys can already see what the orange is. Um, the purple um, and of course the yellow everything is just like really 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 pigmented and very beautiful obviously with the yellow sometimes you have to pack in a little bit more product but that's I think that's just light colors in general very um, warm tones generally you kind of had to especially think colors like yellow if it's a very light color then you definitely have to pack on a little bit more product to have a little bit more of the you know punch of that color but yeah i'm happy with everything i'm very satisfied i'm satisfied with the lip color as well i absolutely love this lip color i definitely think it's a very bold color it's it's very dark so i think a person who rocks this needs to have the confidence to rock this color so i absolutely love it like i love this color it's called duchess so if you guys would like to purchase it then please go ahead and check it out on their social media platforms I, I do believe they have a website i will leave all the links down below to their um website instagram and every other platform that they do have but this is basically the color the lip liner was also giving on their brushes worked absolutely well their brushes are phenomenal <laughs> they worked very well um i don't know if i got around to using all of them i think i did oh my gosh i just realized that i used a different br brush for blush I actually could have used that brush for contouring so I used this br this brush to to do my to apply my brush I could have used it for contouring um, this brush is what I was supposed to use for blush because it is an angled brush so this is the only brush that I didn't use simply because it was in this mix masala of my makeup brushes and everything um, so I didn't quite see it but it's also probably a very amazing brush I, I know brushes like this are generally amazing because of the angle so you can easily apply your brush that way but this brush also worked very well um, when I was applying my my blush you can also use it for contouring so yes um but otherwise i'm really satisfied with all, all their products i would definitely recommend you guys go ahead and buy them um they're not expensive at all they are based in pretoria so they do korea um your products to you if you're based in johannesburg and if you're based in um if you're based in pretoria you can also get it courier to you or you can simply go and pick it up straight from wherever um you would like to meet them or if they do have headquarters then you can meet them there but you can just pop them a dm their instagram is down below in the description box pop them a dm and ask them then find out from them um 
where you can meet them in terms of collecting your products if you would like to but otherwise i do know that they do ship their products to you via korea whether it's aramax um paxi or korea guy or whatever it is that you would like to use so yeah i'm really satisfied they do have other products on their website so you guys can go ahead and check out what they have and yeah just go ahead and purchase some stuff guys spoil yourself get yourself some stuff from Malkia Cosmetics and try out their products. I will definitely recommend their lipsticks because I'm obsessed. I love, love, love their lipsticks. I also love their palette. Their palette is amazing, guys. You should definitely get your hands on this palette. This is their fairy tale palette. I don't know if they have any other palettes, but if they do, go ahead and check that out and definitely purchase them. And then also do your looks, please, and tag me on your looks on Instagram. My Instagram is down below in the description box. Um, but I do obviously go by the name of Minami Moyo, same thing as YouTube. On all my platforms, I am Minami Moyo, so you guys can go and just type that in. Or you can Google me. You can Google me. <laughs> um, but yeah, all my platforms will basically come up as an under Ninami Moyo, so you'll definitely find it there. But yeah, I'm happy with the look, guys. I'm happy with everything, the way it came out. Please go ahead and follow me on TikTok to see the TikTok video that I uploaded for this, this, this look. And yeah, I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. Definitely giving the girl that she thinks she is. Giving, giving, giving. I'm so happy. Okay, so yeah, we're done. This video has gone on for too long. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna love and leave you guys. Please don't forget to like this video. Comment down below what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel if you've gotten this far and you haven't subscribed. I think it's 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 only it makes sense at this point. I think it's like we have a connection of some sort for you to watch all the way to the end of the video. Please go ahead and subscribe. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys again next time on my next video. Stay tuned to the end, end, end of this video. It's for you guys to see the face candy that I'm going to give you guys of this look. Okay. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Bye, guys.